Hi everyone and welcome back to Googie's Kitchen and if you're new here then hello and welcome. My name is Alexis and I post two videos a week on a Tuesday and a Thursday at 7am. So if you love recipe videos like this one and you want to see more then please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and now I'm going to share with you how to make my delicious spiced chamomile tea. As I just mentioned today I want to share with you how to make my delicious spiced chamomile tea. Now this recipe is really easy to do and I know that there are a lot of people who don't like to drink herbal tea. Personally I love them and the reasons I love them are is A they're really good for helping to aid digestion and B they're also really good for helping to support the immune system and at this time of year when winter is on its way we need all the help we can get I think. So I'm going to be making myself one of these today and I thought while I was making it I'd share the recipe with you. So here is how to make my delicious spiced chamomile tea. To start this process I have boiled my kettle and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a chamomile tea bag into a mug. You can use loose, loose leaf uh, tea if you want to but I'm going to use a tea bag. I don't actually have any loose leaf chamomile at the moment. Um, and then I'm going to add a star anise to this as well and this is what makes it spicy it's a nice tasting spice so it's not hot spicy if you're worried about that and then I'm also going to add a cinnamon stick to this now if I was making this for myself I'd probably only add half a cinnamon stick um, but because it's got to make a nice looking picture I'm going to add a whole one um, so if you are at home and you want to make this you can always use half a cinnamon stick you'll still get the same taste and flavour. So just move those out the way and now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to leave this to brew for about three to five minutes. So I'm going to leave the tea bag in here and let it brew. I've left the tea to brew for about three minutes and I'm just going to take the bag out. Um, I'm going to leave the cinnamon stick and the star anise in just because I think it looks pretty but you can take those out as well if you want to and you can add honey to this. So personally I would wait for the tea to cool down before I added the honey because if you add it when it's too hot it will turn to sugar. Um, so if you want the health benefits of the honey um, I would add it when it cools down and I would also use local honey in this as well supermarket honey tends to be honeys a mix of honeys from all over the world which isn't good for you but local honey is actually a lot better so I would add the local honey in once the tea has cooled that's how you make my delicious spice chamomile tea and that recipe I will link in the description box below for you as I mentioned earlier I'm going to be having this as a warming drink this afternoon and I can't wait it smells so good so for now that's it from me thank you so much for watching please feel free to give me a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and please feel free to leave any comments below and please don't forget to hit that subscribe button see you all soon bye